Good morning, friends. Uh, welcome to Green Market Update. What we saw yesterday, there was a sort of a cons uh, consolidation for the third day in a row, and uh, Nifty uh, managed to hold somehow 8100 uh, mark, largely led by uh, sectors like banking, financials, oil and metal stocks, which supported the mass, which supported the market. As a result, uh, we were uh, uh, able to uh, survive above the 8100 level. Uh, in terms of uh, Nifty levels, uh, Nifty was down approximately 23.8 points and closed at 8108 levels, while Sensex closed 67 points down at 26,780 levels. Uh, or in terms of broader indices, even the mid cap index was down 0.3 percent. However, there was out performance from small cap index which was up 0.3 percent. In terms of provisional data, we, we saw FIs were long to the tune of 122 crore in cash market, uh, while DIRs were sellers to the tune of 208 crores. However, if you were to see the index futures data, FIs were short uh, on index futures to the tune of 873 crores. Now moving on to global indices update, what we are seeing the Asian markets are trading firm at this point in time, Shanghai, Hang Seng and Nikkei are all trading in green, uh, Shanghai is up 0.39%, Hang Seng is up 1.1% at this point in time and Nikkei is 0.78% up at this point in time. Uh, in terms of uh, US data, uh, Dow index was down 0.9% while S&P was down 0.47% and Nasdaq was down. 0.29%. So all in all, US markets, all the major indices were trading in red. Uh, SGX at this point in time is trading approximately 35 points up at 8153 levels. So it, it suggests that it, we might open on a slightly positive note. Now friends, let's have a derivative check. Good morning friends, earlier analysis on derivatives. Uh, in SVS market taking a uh, mixed use from the international markets, our market opened with a negative bias. And thereon we have seen Nifty uh, continuously, uh, uh, continuously remaining under the negative territory throughout the day and has been uh, the market price also has been on the negative uh, uh, throughout the day uh, due to which uh, we have seen uh, uh, Nifty closing with a loss of around 0.21% at 8121 8100 in yesterday's trade also has seen a good amount of uh, uh, support for the market and uh, have continued to uh, uh, continue to see some kind of uh, uh, resilience around the nifty continues to see some kind of resilience around 8100 and uh, and due to which we have seen uh, nifty uh, has been uh, closing above 8100 in the last couple of uh, trading sessions uh, despite uh, seeing a good amount of selling pressure and the open interest terms half a percentage uh, uh, was added in open interest that is uh, 1 lakh shares were added in open interest uh, cost of carry did uh, shoot up from 2 percentage to 4 percentage uh, that is Nifty premium did came up uh, from around 8 points uh, to around currently 13 to 4, uh, 12 to 13 odd points uh, indicating some kind of uh, uh, short positions was being uh, created by market participants in yesterday street put call ratio have inch lower uh, from 1.02 to 1, 1 level and in line with the market going down we have seen a, a, a minor dip in put call ratio but it's still at around 1 which is a positive sign while volatility index have cooled off further from 18.02 to 17.72 levels now the options activity 8200 call option which is the highest in terms of open interest have seen in minor addition I mean uh, the uh, at the money and out all, all, all of the out of the money strike price call option have seen a minor addition uh, or uh, there was hardly any addition in the call option where in put option we have seen some kind of uh, uh, unwinding in 8100 strike price which is a bit negative sign uh, for around 17 or percent days uh, in SV trade, uh, while 8000 put option, which is the highest in terms of open interest, has seen a minor addition of around 4%, while 7900 put option have also seen an unwinding of around 2 or percentage. So, we continue to uh, continue to remain in a range or in, uh, in a range where uh, 8000 8050 would be the crucial support for our market. Anywhere around 8000 8050 is a good opportunity to go long, while on the higher side, 8250 8300 would be the crucial resistance. So this will be the range uh, for the uh, for this series, which uh, which option uh, options data has been suggesting. Uh, so market participants should trade accordingly according to the level uh, of the market. Uh, there are no securities in band period for today's trade on FIS terms. Uh, they continue to be net sellers after seeing some kind of uh, long addition. They are now squaring off the long positions. Uh, they were net sellers in index futures of around 872 crores. And the open interest of FIS went down by around 2, or two to 3 odd percent, is indicating some kind of long unwinding. While index options, they were net sellers by 920 odd crores, while stock futures, they were net sellers by 688 odd crores, and stock options, net sellers by 25 crores only. For a 5 days view app uh, and for a market level, 5 days view app stands at 8150. 
uh, with a lower range at 8100 and higher range at 8200. As the XMP is suggesting a bit uh, positive despite negative views from the US market, uh, we have been opening on a positive note and it's up by around 22 odd points at 8148 and it's just nearby our VWAP level. So watch out for our VWAP level in today's trade of 8150-8160. If it's able to sustain above that then some more upside can be seen. But 8200 would be the crucial resistance to watch out for. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. Now friends, let's discover the trading ideas for the day. First trading idea for the day is Alstom TED. Current market price is 526. Alstom TND has back orders worth 140 crores from Odisha Power Transmission Corporation for supply of air insulated and gas insulated substation. So this is positive development happening for Alstom TND. Action to be taken is long. Alstom TND stop loss is placed at 516 levels. Will be targeting levels of 540 and 550. Now friends, next long idea for the day is MNM Limited. Current market price is 1286. Mahindra first choice wheel, Mahindra points used vehicle arm uh, has acquired auto risk management services for an undisclosed sum. Also, MNM aims larger market share for UVs and HCVs. So, this is positive development happening for MNM. Action to be taken is long MNM. Stop loss is placed at 1268. We will be targeting levels of 1310, 1313. The next long item for the day is Agenda Pharma Limited. Current market price is 1493. Agenda Pharma gets tentative US FDA not for hypertension drug. Airbus trend uh, section to be taken is long Ajanta Pharma. Stop loss is placed at 1470. We will be targeting levels of 1530 and 1550. The next long idea for the day is Torrent Pharma. Current market price is 1542. Torrent Pharma, along with another company, Alembic Pharma, has used, uh, uh, sorry, has received a US FDA not for Mementine hydrochloride tablet. So, this is positive development happening for. Torrent Pharma as well as Olympic Pharma. Action will be taken is long Torrent Pharma. Stop loss is placed at 1510. We will be targeting levels of 1580 and 1600. Now friends, we will be moving on to news update front. FIVB to consider FDA proposal of Alcan Labs and Lupins on October 19. IBLC makes an allotment of 1.5 crore shares at Rs 24.39 to CDR lenders. Also IBL says that collection on NH47 Tamilaru has started from today. Government sources said IDBA state direction under examination yet to take any decision. Uh, Gateway district parks in focus. Big block deals have happened yesterday. GMO, Amansa and Zondra mutual fund other uh, buyers. Bank of Baroda Forex scam may turn out to be of lesser value than 6000 crores. Serious fraud investigation office probing Bob's money laundering case. Indigo to launch up to 400 billion dollar IPO on October 26th. A financial technology deal marks conclusion of sale of 13.6 IEX stake sale concluded the sale with DCB Power Ventures and Kiran Vyapar. Thyssen Group to set up an elevator factory in Pune. Further on the news update front, MFL India board to consider stock split on October 20th. Blackstone is in talk with LND Reality to buy 1 million square feet of reality space. CCEI approves 7,000 crore loan from banks to clear UVS subsidy. Reliance Capital Asset Management, ICHS Securities, SBI PMS, back 75,000 crore coal mines PF that will be divided equally among the three players. Dr. Riz get US FDA tentative not for a drug called Lamotogrin. Lamotogrin is an anti-leptic medication. Purchaser USA to set, uh, uh, set to buy Polaris Consulting for approximately 1904 crore as per media reports. Jaguar Land Rover September auto sales were up at 3% at 47,634 units and China's JLR sales were down 29%. On the result update front, DIC India's result, total income at 192.4 crores versus last year's income of 184.6 crores. DIC's net profit came at 7.4 crore which is very good compared to 2.1 crore last year. Uh, in the next result is Hindu, Hindu Job Ventures Limited. Its Q2 pack came at 28.2 crore versus last year's profit of 26 crore. This result is on standalone basis. Now friends, we will be uh, sharing with your uh, stocks uh, with uh, sorry, we will be sharing with you all results today which are going to be coming during the market hours. LIC Housing Finance estimated PAT of 405 crores. Uh, Vigard estimated PAT of 22.6 crore. Mindtree estimated PAT of 152 crores. Syntex estimated PAT of 117 crores. Karur Veshap estimated PAT of 131 crores. Now stocks with positive and negative bias. Stocks with positive bias for the day are ACC at 1380, Syndicate Bank at 92. BEML at 1246.
stocks with negative bias are Yoko Bank at 49, Hindustan Unilever at 792, and Z Enterprise at 387. Stocks for investment which can be suggested to long in, long term investors. Ajitha Bilanova at 2167, Britannia Industry at 3181, HDFC Bank at 1085, Tata Motors DVR at 242, and Z Enterprise at 386. Friends, that's all from Advisory Desk. Have a wonderful day ahead.